Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create a weekly attendance sheet in Google Sheets. As you are seeing my screen, I have created this beautiful weekly attendance sheet. Here we have given the date. So you can select the date from the calendar that will be the week starting date. And it will show the seven days of the attendance. You can input the employee ID, employee name and you can select the supervisor name from the drop down. And these dates will appear automatically. Then you can mark the attendance as present, absent, leave or week off. Here it will calculate the count of the present, absent and leave automatically as well as these percentage also. On the top section we are showing the present percentage in this progress circle and the absent percentage as well as the leave percentage. Now let me show you if I change the date so just double click and select another date let's say I am taking the week 10th of March. Now you can see dates are changed automatically but these attendance will not be changed you have to delete this manually in this range like this and then you have to mark this again. Okay. And everything is dynamic. If you change any attendance, let's say I'm selecting here leave, then everything will be updated automatically. In the percentage, we are showing the percentage of the present for individual employee, as well as we are showing here the progress bar. Similarly for the absent and leave also. In the setting sheet, we have the list of the supervisor. So you can create the list of the supervisor and that drop down will appear here automatically as well as you can put here the number of working day if you change this to the 5 the all calculation of the percentage will be changed so make sure you are putting here the correct number so i am putting here 6 because we have given one week off in the week if you are giving two week off in the week you have to mark five working days okay now I will show you how we have created this in Google Sheets. So let's start without delay. So on the top first we have put the header and we have selected the range and we just have merged it using this merge cells. If I unmerge then you can see it is changed and we change the font size as 24 and we have taken font area rounded with the white color and we put our header like weekly attendance sheet. You can change this header as per your requirement. Then here we have put the text week starting and here we have put a date. So first we have put here validation as is valid date. Just right click and go to the drop down and here in the drop down we just have selected is valid date and then we clicked on done. So the benefit of doing this is if you double click it will open this calendar so you can select the date from the calendar. Once date is there then we have changed it from the number formatting format number and we have taken the format as DD. If it is not appearing here you can go to the custom and you can type here DD and apply. So it will show only date however in the back end we have a complete date but it is showing only day which is 10th. Then we have used here text function from this cell and we have used MMM four times. So it is showing the complete month and here we have used the by 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 four times. So it is showing the year. Okay. I will explain you these all also. But first let me explain you this everything. Here we have put the employee ID, employee name and the supervisor. For the supervisor we have created a drop down. Just right click go to the drop down. And we have taken the drop down from range and the range we have put here this range so you can just click and go to the setting sheet and we have taken this all range automatically it has created the list here and from the advanced option we have just selected arrow so display style is arrow only okay now here what we have done first the first date we have taken equal to c4 whatever date is available here in this cell we have just taken that equal to this one and here we have used this previous date plus one you can see e9 plus one and similarly here till here it is just plus one this one is the text function from this cell so we are taking the day of this date 
tax d d d thrice so it, uh, it is taking the day of this date and similarly here also all right then here in this range we have created a drop down just right click and go to the drop down we have created a drop down for p a l and w o and we have given some colors also like for present we have given a light green then light red and sky blue and here we have given the gray color okay so then from the drop down you can mark absent for any employee or you can mark present or leave let's say i am marking absent accordingly the present count and everything will be changed now i will show you how we have created here the count for the count we have taken p a and l as header and this count we have created a merge cell and we have put a formula here that is count if and we have selected this range comma the criteria we have given this cell so we are counting p we have filled down this one so we are getting the count of present in this whole week so this first employee was present only on one day in this whole week and this was two days three days four days so this is count of present days for that that particular employee similarly here we are counting the absent days you can see we are counting the days of absent using the same formula and here also we are using the count if in this range and the criteria we are taking this l all right so we have got the count here now here we are putting a formula to get the present percentage this is the header to calculate the percentage here we have put two columns under this p one is this one another one is this one i will show you this one also first let me explain you this one here we are taking the present percentage for that particular employee so we are taking the l10 which is discount of p divide by setting sheet b3 if i go to the setting sheet this is the value of b3 that means number of working day so that is 6 so that means we are saying 1 divided by 6 okay 6 will be denominator that means we are not getting the count of week offs in our denominator present days percentage was 17% uh, now we have filled down this so accordingly it is showing the per present percentage for a particular employee now for the absent percent we have used the similar formula the count of absent divided by setting sheet b3 which is number of working day in a week so which is 6 we have put that here you can take 5 also if you want so accordingly that calculation will be done if you are taking 5 working days in a week you have to mark 2 week off either you can take saturday and sunday or you can take some other if that week off is not appearing completely you can increase the column bit slightly okay now to calculate the absent we have used the absent count which is the m10 in this case this one divided by setting sheet b3 which is 6 in this case it is appearing here you can change it so we are getting the percentage of absent similarly we are getting the percentage of leaves also okay the same formula now I will show you this formula also this is the spark line formula I have created a separate video on the spark line you can check out uh, that video on my channel now here we are creating the bar type of spark line so we have used the formula spark line then we have taken the value of O10 which is the present percentage then we have put here this code if you are not sure about this code you can just click on the question mark also or, or you can just uh, use this drop down and you can see you can click on this down arrow and you can just uh, take the information from here or you can read more about this using the learn more then you can get the all information related to the spark like how you can use the different type of spark line if you want to use the line column or some other kind of so you can just read it read out this okay so we have used the bar max then we have used one another condition that is color one which is green we have taken because it is for the present okay so we have taken color one as green similarly we have used here spark line this one the color one we have taken red you can use the hash code also for the color but here we have used 
use the hard code because these are the simple colors here we have used the color as sky blue you can see okay rest is same it is taking from the previous cell so accordingly it is filling the information if it is 100% then it will fill this cell as 100% all right now I will show you how we have created these top charts also so we have created a support sheet also here we have created a support sheet in the support sheet first let me explain you what we have done first we are taking total total we are taking the count of employees using the count a function from the attendance sheet b10 till the end so we are taking here b10 till the end so we are getting the count now in the support sheet you, once we get the count we are multiplying by the working days in a week so which is 6 so if the count is coming here let's say 20 we are multiplying by 6 so the total will be 120 the present count we are taking the sum of l column l 10 till the end so if i come to these attendance sheet and here you can see the l column this column for the present count we have we have already calculated the present so we are just getting the total present similarly we are getting here total absent from the m column and total leave count from the n column so i will quickly show you l m and n column that is in the attendance sheet this one l m n okay present absent and leave so we are getting these total count now here we are calculating the present absent and leave percentage so present percentage will be c4 which is this one divided by total total will be 120 in every case which is denominator right similarly for the absent percentage also and for the leave percentage also so this present or the absent percent is overall basis not for a single employee this is for all employees now here we have created a another formula that is blank for the blank we are using 1 minus the present percent okay which is 42 here 1 minus the same formula this blank we have just created for the progress circle chart so now to create the progress circle chart we will use this data so just select this and just insert a donor chart so first let's insert a chart and once the chart is there then we can change the chart type to the donut this one so this is the donut chart and this blue one is the present percentage and this is blank now let's go to the customize and uh, then we will go to the pie slice here just select the present percentage first for the present percentage we will take the green color this one and for the blank we will take the lighter green this one okay then we will go to the pie chart and let's take the donut hole size just type here 80 percent and enter and then we will go to the legend and just say none and then we will go to the chart style and here we will take the background as none and the border also as none then we will make the chart slightly smaller like this and then in the excel cell somewhere we can just uh, click and just select two or three cells and then just use merge and let's press equal to and then select the present count this one and then we will align this center and middle middle vertical alignment and increase the font size and take the green color this one make this bold or take the area rounded this one and then place this chart over this cell like this so that is how we have created this progress circle chart here also let me quickly show you if i move this chart then you can see this is the separate cell wherein we have put the formula equal to support sheet c6 so let me come to the support sheet this is the c6 you can see okay similarly we have created for the absent and for the leave and we have changed the colors also accordingly here we have just put the normal text present percentage this is absent percentage this is leave percentage all right that is how we have created this weekly attendance sheet. 
friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching